There can be only one World Trade Center per city and this right here is the World Trade Center Abuja. It's known for having luxury commercial spaces and also a residential side of things here and there's still a lot more to come. You too can walk and live in the World Trade Center if you're looking for a well-polished city dwelling to call home. And this is the only mixed-use World Trade Center in the world and I had the privilege as the first video creator to visit this gigantic project and give you guys a tour. So in this video, I'm going to take you on a tour through the residential building which happens to be the tallest residential building here in Abuja and also the A-grade office complex which happens to be the tallest commercial office complex here in Abuja and also try to explain to you guys what exactly the World Trade Center is and what it offers to Nigerians and the world so you should stay tuned. Later on in the video, we're going to talk about the trade services offered to residents and tenants of the World Trade Center. But for now, let me take you guys on the tour. So on the tour, we're first going to talk about the location and then the infrastructure and facility that makes it the number one address here in Abuja. So the tour, we're going to start from the residential side, come over to the commercial side, and then talk about the trade services offered by the World Trade Center. So first off is a trademark name and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there can be only one World Trade Center per city. The World Trade Center brand encompasses of over 320 buildings and trade service organizations located in 90 countries across the globe with headquarters in New York. It is the most recognized and respected international ecosystem of global business connectivity. You are at the World Trade Center Abuja where? the Constitution Avenue, yeah. surrounded by all of the embassies, the diplomatic community, some of the government prestatals are, are here as well. A prime location making it the most prestigious address in Nigeria. So if you're looking for safety, security, posh, elegance, sophisticated technology, grade A building infrastructure, you come to the World Trade Center Abuja. So the infrastructure here at the World Trade Center has already been completed. So the residential towers have been built, the commercial tower has also been built with residents and companies occupying that space. State of the art infrastructure, uh, one of a kind. We've got grade A office buildings. So at completion, there are going to be about eight uh, buildings, seven of which are going to be skyscrapers and some of the tallest you're going to see in Abuja. So talking about the facilities, there's a 33 kVA power grid or power line from the government specially made for this project and the project itself generates 10 kVA with 300% backup. Yeah, so in terms of electricity, this building can actually run on its own power for almost six months. But really, the feature I like so much is the security features. There are over 500 CCTV cameras, like I had to go and start counting all of them myself. Every point within this project, there's an eye on you. And the fact that the location itself, there's a, a Russian embassy here, there's a US embassy on this end, and then there's a Canadian embassy here, like the security is just top notch. Uh, we've got uh, fiscal security, we've got soft security as well. Mm -hmm. When you're in the World Trade Center, it's like a home away from home. Like your, yeah, a yeah. place where you feel very secure. And it's an environment that is curated also to ensure that your next door neighbor could be your next big partner. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start the tour here at the residential task is standing at 110 meters high making it the tallest residential building right here in the city of Abuja. There are over 120 luxury flats. We've also got uh, soundproof, shutterproof and thermal uh, driven technology for the double glass facade enveloping both towers. This helps you conserve energy, reduces noise pollution coming in to the building or going outside of the building as well. And then they all have a wrapped around balcony so you can immerse yourself in the views right here coming out from the residential towers. This right here is the entrance into the residential towers. And as you can see, there is no vehicle here, but there are residents here. There's uh, an underground garage where everybody goes there and park the car. So when you come here, everything looks very, very organized. And just right here on my right hand side, there's going to be like greenery planted all around. It's like a, it's like a park right here. 
at the World Trade Center City. Alright, so let's go in right now and I'm going to show you the Welcome Center and also every other thing you need to see here at the Residential Tower. So this is the Welcome Center or the reception right here at the Residential Tower. And you can see we have very nice wall cladding going on here, double volume ceiling, very beautiful, recessed light, central cooling system, sprinklers, CCTV cameras, and all these things you're going to see in a five-star hotel. So right here at the residential tower, you have over six type of apartments. You've got the regular one, two, three bed, and then you've got the two, three, five, and six duplexes, and penthouse, pool villas, and garden villas, all right? So now I'm going to take you to the 22nd floor. Go check out what a five bedroom penthouse look like here at the WTC residential towers, right? Okay, welcome to the 22nd floor. But before I take you to the apartment, this is the walkway leading into the apartment. Right here at the World Trade Center, like I mentioned, there are over 500 cameras. So there are cameras left, right, center. So at every point, uh, anybody walking through this balcony, you're being monitored, all right? Right here is the exit via the staircase. All right, welcome home, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I'm in the ante room, and on my left hand side, we have the powder room. So from there, I step into the main living room. This is really lovely, guys. So the property is really big, and when you step in here, you almost would forget that you are in a high rise apartment. You're gonna think you're in a duplex or something, all right? It's about 521 square meters. You know, that is really big. It comes with five bedroom, but they converted it to four bedrooms. It has two living rooms. It's the first one, it has a kitchen, it has a box room, a laundry room. It's big enough to accommodate a family of like six, right? Or on the 22nd floor, so you know the views that you're getting out of here. <laughs> it's insane. I mean, the sun rises from the bedroom. I'm gonna show you that, and it sets all the way right here in the living room. So you're not missing out on any experience whatsoever. With the press of a button, the curtains would open. You have like a 360 view of the entire city. And that's insane. I love this view and trust me, that's one thing you get staying here at the World Trade Center. Your dining is right here with all of this light now. Most people would be very concerned seeing a floating staircase saying, oh, what if you have children? When you come into this apartment or you show interest, you want to get this, they deliver like you're going to, you're going to see a carcass. They at World Trade Center believe if you're going to come to get an apartment like this, you have a little taste for luxury, which means there are little elements of things that you would like to point out to be adjusted. At that stage, you can also select how you would want your staircase to be. If you don't want it to be an open floating staircase, you want something else, right? And uh, yeah, it just speaks luxury. Okay, so let's go to the rooms and uh, I hope I am able to wrap this up real quick. So this area takes us into the room. On my left hand side, you have your first box room. And then on my right hand side, you have a small room right here. See, it has great views. Uh, you can use this for your guests actually, if you stay here. But the main room I want to show you is this one. This is the primary bedroom for this first floor. It has a couch right here. And the reason they kept it this way is so you can really sit down here and immerse yourself in the views, which I'm going to show you, right? So this controls the curtain. And if I go ahead and open this, the view you're getting from here is insane, guys. Just look at this. This is the central business district here in Abuja. And this express is the Constitution Avenue. Uh, you have the central mocks right here. And if you look further down, you can see the Astro Rock. Like I told you, when you stay here, it seems like you're spying on Abuja. You, you have almost like a 360 view of the entire city. Now, I want you to listen closely. This glasses like i mentioned they are double glazed so they are closed right now we can't even hear the cars or even a noise a wind or something like that but when i open this you have all of that getting and also it helps keep away the heat so if it's a very sunny day you know you can get really hot here in abuja so this uh, glass facade also helps stop not just the noise but the heat as well so when i open this you can see you can hear it, I mean, the noise start coming in. So, some tiny details you should know. This is the balcony right here. From the architecture of the building, it's wrapping all around. So, the developers were very intentional about views. And being that this is the tallest uh, residential building here in Abuja, so you have uninterrupted 360 view. This particular balcony starts all the way from the bedroom 
all the way to this point, right? So if I walk here, this door actually brings me in from the living room. So you see it's a wrapped around view, very beautiful. And I think this area is the bathroom and you can even open it. So probably you're done having your bath, you have your robe on and you know, you don't want to go that way. So you can, you can open this and step outside the balcony. The living room has access to the balcony. The bathroom has access to the balcony. The room has access to the balcony. That's a functionality if you'd ask me. So I hope you like it so far. So now I'm going to take you to the first floor or I'll first take you, I'll show you the, the kitchen and then we're going to go to the first floor and I'll show you. It even has a way better view, a way better bedroom. Like it's better of like than what you've seen. So let's go check it out. So this is sort of like the family lounge. And on this side, you have three doors. First door is the laundry. The second door is the box room, right? You can store your box and some cartons and stuff like that. This door is another room right here. It has its own bathroom right here. This is what the room looks like right here. It's quite basic. So this is the primary bedroom. It's the main bedroom. It's the biggest, the most spacious right here in the duplex. This walkway takes me to the main room. My left hand side is the walk-in closet, right? Yo, this bathroom is very lovely. He's and has vanity. I love the marbles that were used, very subtle. And the fact that they, it was used on the wall and also on the tile, just creates that uniformity. Obviously you have a view, right? So there's a bathtub right here. You can have your bath, take a look at the views and uh, it's very beautiful. The, the property is just made or was built to make you appreciate the views from up here. 22 floors, uninterrupted views of the entire city of Abuja. So the cool thing with this uh, room is you've got another storage here for your clothes. So you can use that space for your big boxes and then uh, you can use this space to now store your clothes, your suit. A smart curtain. So if I open this and then you can really do see the view of Abuja. So uh, it's, it's similar views with the other room right down there. So you have the Constitution Avenue, all of these beautiful things around, right? So you have the TV console here. And what I like with the Wall Trade Center is just like you would have in your hotel, you have, uh, you can use this to communicate with the reception right down there. And you can also use this to communicate with the living room down there. So just in case you don't want to walk around because 512 or 521 square meters is big. So you want to, you know, live like a true king right here. So you guys let me know what you think. Uh, for me, I'm totally sold right here at the Wall Trade Center. It's beautiful, wrapped around views, the glass facade, the luxury finishing, the fitting, everything just comes together. It's a dream come true for anybody that will stay here in Abuja. Trust me, to live in a place like this, but I love it. This five bedroom is just a show flat. There are six types of apartment here at the WTC residential tower, ranging from regular one, two, and three bedroom apartment, and then two, three, five, and six bedroom duplex, penthouse, garden villas, and pool villas. With rental price starting from $2,500 and sales options starting from $500,000. I'll leave their contact in the description if you need specific information about this apartment. This is a commercial tower. It's standing at 120 meters high. It is a 22-story edifice with prime office spaces. That's flexible from about 130 square meters to as large as 1,440 square meters. The World Trade Center commercial building is the only grade A office complex here in Abuja, offering a parallel view of the entire city with its beautifully designed double glazed facade. All right, so let me take you guys on a tour, right? So this mini bridge starts all the way from the smart security checkpoint down there. So you just have to drive all the way up there. And at that point, you can either drop off your guests or if you're here for a very short period of time, you can park your car on that way. Or if you're here for a long period of time, you have to drive all the way back down to the official uh, parking space for the building. And then I'm just gonna take you guys inside so you can really do appreciate when you say something is grade A, you're going to see for yourself what really makes an official space grade area here in Abuja. This right here is the welcome center 
for the commercial tar. It was built to look like a five-star resort or a five-star hotel you're going to see in Dubai. And some of the things you're going to notice first is the beautiful recess light that comes alive at night. You have central speakers, central cooling system, and also central uh, heat extractors, which is very beautiful. And right here is the reception. And then on my left and right hand side is the visitor's waiting area. And this way leads us into the passenger lifts. There are about eight of them made from Shinla. And on the other side, you have the service lifts, all right? This place is made to make your guests very, very comfortable. These uh, lifts, there are about eight passenger lifts right here. They are super fast. So they're over 22 floors right here. And this lift is going to go through every floor in less than a second. So in less than 30 seconds, should be at the top. So right now I'm going to the eighth floor, which means I'll be there in less than eight seconds. Okay, welcome to the eighth floor. Now each floor has about 1,440 square meters. Now that space can be divided into four and each quadrant is about 360 square meters and can even be divided by two, three or even more. Each of the quadrants would share the common area and also the server room. This floor already has tenants and uh, we're going to go into the space, look at what the unfinished space looks like. So you see the infrastructure that comes with the space and then we're going to go to the finished space so you can see how beautiful it is when you come in here and do your interior and partitioning and all these good things, right? So let's go. So this space is the quadrant, which is about 360 square meters. As you can see, it's big enough to have the reception, office space, meeting rooms, uh, boardrooms, and all of these spaces. Like there are a lot of people here. So one cool thing you're going to notice is there are no pillars in the middle of the property. So the pillars are at the extreme end. So it allows you to do your partitioning and you know, you have freedom to design the space as you will. I wish this was my office, but you can see it's really spacious, very luxurious still under that 360 square meters they have this this is like the md's office and then you have office spaces the reception meeting room and to top it all up the views can you open the the views here of central abuja constitution avenue it's lovely so you have automated blinds and it opens up you can see the city of abuja so the cool thing about the glass is you, you can't hear even the cars on the road. It's like it's soundproofed, which is very, very essential, especially for an office space. So now I'm going to take you to the carcass, which is at the, maybe the top floor, and then you're going to see what you're going to be getting. Okay, so this is what the commercial space looks like. Uh, they usually leave it this way so that when a client come in, they will tell us certain things to the client specification. You choose your quadrant and that will determine the views you want. So they will do the POP, the floors, they'll fit up everything for the company. So the only thing that you're not getting out of this space is the interior design and the partitioning. This space right now is a transitioning space. So a client has gotten this and they are actually remodeling the space. So this is usually how it would come if, they are, if the company is handing over the space to you, but without uh, all of this fancy light without the partitioning. So you have just your empty space, but you have the raised floor. This floor has already been touched up a bit, um, but I mean, the POP, everything, it's how you're going to get it, right? Uh, so in a few days or weeks, the owner of this space is going to come in here and start moving in furniture. But I love this view because uh, it's a view of the, you know, of the city. Just right there, you have the Millennium Tower on that end and they have the Constitution Avenue Expressway. The space here at the commercial towers is flexible from 140 square meters up to 1,440 square meters. Look at the description section for more details. So the mall, the clubhouse, and the five-star hotel will soon be built. To enhance the lives of its residents, WTC Abuja features a magnificent recreational clubhouse. This exceptional facility offers a wide range of recreational, cultural, and educational activities, including a fitness club, an executive lounge, tennis, and squash court, an infinity swimming pool, a bar, spa, crash, and even a jogging track. 
The clubhouse promotes communal well-being, physical health, and reduces stress, ultimately leading to increased satisfaction among its residents. We're actually affiliated to over 320 water centers across the globe. Wow. And the major mandate of the Water Center Association is actually international trade. Yes, we have the arm of the real estate, and we're doing very, very, very great in it. So for our trade services, we have the membership and business club. We have the business development. We help our members with their business plans. We also organize um, investment missions, trade missions. We organize business to business meetings. We organize business to government meetings. We've been able to have successful um, government to government meetings, business to government meetings with several consulates, and it has actually been a very great one. Essentially, it was developed to foster international trade and development and okay. enhance commerce okay. by building uh, capital and revenue for individuals, corporate organizations, and governments across the world. So that's um, international brand. That affiliation we have with over 320 watches that has across the globe is the number one benefit they get as a member. And then we have two major categories of the uh, membership here at the Water Center Abuja. We have the category here, which is for company owners. So we believe that they have been established for about more than five years. They know what they're doing. They have a high turnover. And then we have the second category, that's the category two, which is um, actually for um, the young CEOs and then the startup. You're not just being, being a member of the WTC Abuja. There's an opportunity for you to learn from those who are experienced since they are young CEOs or just coming as a um, startup to organize trainings. We also partner with other international organizations, with exhibitions, trade missions. We also assist um, to maybe like a trade policy briefs and documents. And then we also have um, exciting trade articles that we've, been re that we've actually written with um, the World Trade Center Association. Contact the dedicated sales and marketing team now to explore the possibilities and take your business to soaring heights at the World Trade Center Abuja. Thank you so much for watching this episode and do let me know what you think about this gigantic project. And of course, subscribe to the channel and wait for more episodes coming out from Abuja, Nigeria.